Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Afiq and today we are going to discuss on close range photogrammetry. Before we move to close range photogrammetry, let's define the photogrammetry first. What does it mean by photogrammetry? Photogrammetry is the art, science and technology in obtaining information about physical object or environment by photographic and electromagnetic images. So what about close range photogrammetry? Close range photogrammetry is one of the method in obtaining the images that we define this now. When we have close range, of course we have the far range one. So what is the difference? The difference is in terms of distance. As the name itself, the close range have the closer distance while the far range have the further distance. So which one is better? Both have uh, advantages and disadvantages and it depends on our project that we want to use which method either uh, close range or far range. So the close range uh, photogrammetry is uh, the distance up to few meters only. Usually the distance between the object and camera is up to 100 meter and usually not take that 100 meter, few meters only. For close range photogrammetry, we can simply use our own smartphone camera or any DSLR camera or other non-metric camera. It uh, doesn't require a very specific camera. And another application of close range photometry is the UAV or drone. We can use a uh, drone to obtain images using close range photometry. What about the far range? Far range photometry usually a longer distance between the camera and the object. For example, is uh, when we use aircraft which uh, fly a few hundred meters and up to kilometers to obtain images. And also uh, for far range, we can also obtain images using satellite. So. What is the advantages of close range photogrammetry? Firstly, we can eliminate the error in atmosphere. As we mentioned earlier, close range photogrammetry took a shorter distance between object and camera, so it reduced the error that can occur when we do uh, data collection. The next advantage is cost effective since we can simply use our camera, our own camera, it is cost effective and if we, if we use drone also, it's only cost uh, thousands ringgit but we can uh, use multiple times and we can also use the drone to our other project. Compared to far range, uh, to fly an aircraft it needs quite a uh, thousand ringgit for one times only compared to the drone but it still depends on our project what uh, specification of our project so what is the application of close range photometry first we can obtain the terrain images using close range photometry and the latest application of close range photometry is that the 3D modeling. For example, uh, when there is an accident and we want to model the accident, we can go to the accident place and take few images around the accident scene and we can model the accidents. It's very useful for the police and for the forensics. Uh, 
the next one is what is the process or what is the procedure in using close range photogrammetry first of course our project planning when we talk about project planning we must consider the cost the hardware the software and our uh, project plates and other things uh, about the cost you must consider our the two other things software and hardware is now you mentioned and for the hardware we need to consider what type of camera we want to use if we want to use our own camera or any other camera we need to do camera calibration that will be explained later and uh, software is we must find a suitable software for our data to be processed and our project case we must consider if there is an if there is any obstacle that we have to counter so before we start our project we must do our camera calibration since uh, different camera has different error so we must do our camera calibration before we start our project what is the purpose on doing camera calibration first we want to remove the lens distortion of the camera this distortion will cause error in our images and the next one is uh, we can use our image and measure it in world unit for example meter inches and others since uh, we have calibrate our camera so the distance in images is in real world distance and the next one is we can know our object location since our camera has been calibrated and uh, our camera is in known coordinate. The next one is when we have done our camera calibration, we can move to uh, data acquisition where we take images and collect data. Then we move to our next step, which is data processing. We use uh, certain software either uh, the premium software or the open source software depends and after we process it uh, we must uh, know what type of output the client want so we can we can produce the output as the client desire then uh, our project will be finished I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Stay home and stay safe.